trigeminal neuralgia, also known as tic de la rue, is the topic. And um, trigeminal nerve is the fifth cranial nerve. So that is what is uh, involved in this um, disorder. And what I wanted to do is draw uh, a, a little diagram of where this uh, nerve will innervate and also where it will affect. So you're looking at the trigeminal nerve uh, coming out in that approximate area. And the first branch is here, second branch is around here, and the third branch kind of comes down here. So that's the areas that are affected. And I'll talk a little bit about the symptoms um, shortly. So what happens is it's believed that there's a compression of that fifth cranial nerve and that leads to the symptomatology. And the symptoms are actually very, very uh, specific on licensing exams. Basically what you have is usually someone that's a little bit older. It could be a man or a woman, but most of the vignettes I've seen are men, 50 to 60 years of age. And it described these sudden attacks of severe pain. And um, they're excruciating, that, like it, often in, incapacitating. And they were described sometimes as sharp or stabbing or even piercing. Um, and they will say that this happens, uh, the pain is not constant, it comes and goes, and it happens, uh, for example, when they're chewing or when they're, they could be brushing their teeth, um, and it can also happen uh, sometimes maybe when they're shaving. And this pain is often, uh, of course, described on one side of the face and um, they will of course tell you that it's in the area that they tell you is of course consistent with uh, the area that's innervated by the fifth cranial nerve so that that's a very very classic type of uh, presentation diagnosis is really just the history um, you, it's not necessary to really do any elaborate tests um, the history is usually uh, enough and the treatment, interestingly, is with an anticonvulsant, um, a medication that's normally given for seizures. And the drug of choice, DOC drug of choice, is carbamazepine. And there's other drugs as well that are commonly used, or sometimes used, if carbamazepine is ineffective. Uh, but that's usually the biggest one. So let's uh, look at some vignettes. 55 year old man complains that he sometimes has sudden pain on one side of his face. It lasts up to two minutes. Pain is excruciating and he feels like and feels like an electric shock. He states that it happens when he shaves and sometimes when he is chewing food. Upon physical exam, you notice the area of the face he points to is the area of distribution of the fifth cranial nerve. He is otherwise healthy and does not take any medications. You ask him if he has ever had shingles, and he says no. Most likely, the diagnosis is. Well, um, it all points to uh, trigeminal neuralgia. Interestingly, this question about shingles has to do with post-herpetic neuralgia. Um, I guess the physician might have initially thought that this might be post-herpetic neuralgia, which, is ha which happens after somebody has shingles but he's never had shingles, so. And the final one, a 60-year-old man complains of extremely severe, sharp, shooting pain in his face. He describes the episodes as being like a bolt of electricity that are brought about by touching a specific area, lasts about 60 seconds, and, may, and occur many times during the day. Neurologic exam is completely normal, but it is noted that part of his face is unshaven because he fears to touch that area. Which of the following is the most appropriate initial treatment? Again, a very classic clinical vignette to describe trigeminal neuralgia. 
and the most appropriate initial treatment is carbamazepine, which is an anticonvulsant.